In this video, I'm gonna show you how I use Jasper AI to write about a 2000 word article. Just the other day, I used Jasper AI to write an article and it was a little short form, okay? It was about 276 words here. I told Jasper, hey, write a post about creating a niche website, witty and casual tone, use the keyword Amazon affiliate, and we just have like a few paragraphs here. I also used a uh, other tool called Content at Scale that does like long form content. So I provided the same information and it produced an article with about 2,300 words. I did a video on it so you could check it out. Before I get into the demo, I'm not an expert with Jasper. I've used it for several hours. I've used it you know, many times, but I'm not an expert. So if you observe me making a mistake, please let me know in the comments. If you think I'm doing something dumb, let me know in the comments. I type pretty slow and I made a lot of mistakes. I apologize for that, but if you hate watching me type, you can also write that in the comments. You won't hurt my feelings. I have pretty thick skin. So just let me know what you think and let me know if you have follow-up questions or requests for other videos. Like I said, we got some good content from Jasper here, but it's a little short form. So I'm gonna go through and show you how I produced about 2000 words. It actually took me a little bit longer than I thought it was going to, and it's still just a draft. I would need to edit it and do a little bit more, but I, I step you through each, each little piece here. So let's get to the demo now. So I'm gonna show you how you can use Jasper AI to do this. So I'll put in the same information again. I'll put witty and casual. And then we're going to do this in real time as well. So I'm going to put Amazon affiliate. And then I'm going to use the boss mode and write commands here. So I'll just say write a post. Actually, we'll start sooner. We'll say write an outline about creating a niche website. And I'll say, I'll say a six point outline. And then I'll hit command enter and Jasper should take this and run with it. Okay, so we have six points here. Now I'll say write an intro for a blog post using the outline above command enter so it should use should use the outline all right now i think what we can do is take each one of these so we could take each one of the outlines and say write a paragraph i cannot type i get nervous in front of the camera write a paragraph about choose a topic for your niche site all right and i do have grammarly premium so i am going to you know probably go through and this is the case if i ever use an ai tool so I'm gonna you know, note this again. So find domain and hosting. So write a paragraph about that. So same deal over and over again. Okay, so this shows us that it kind of went off the rails here. So I said, write a paragraph about finding domain and hosting. And it says bright people know that it's a myth that only highly intelligent people are creative. So I don't know, I mean, this is completely irrelevant here. So this is some of the flaws with certain tools. Maybe I wrote the command wrong. So write a paragraph about find a domain and hosting. So command enter. Okay, so now we're back on track. So it's talking about domains. So this is just one of the things you may have might have to watch. 
And if you check out the video with content at scale, I didn't have to do each one of these steps. I just put in the information over here and then went through. So what I'm gonna do is uh, you know, keep hitting each one of these, but I'm gonna pause here for a second because you don't need to see each step. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the rest of the paragraphs here and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna hop back in here and let you know that we have an issue. So I asked Jasper to write about the website design. So it says, Creating a website can be a daunting task, but it doesn't have to be. There's a, there are a number of tools and services that make the process easy and affordable. In this post, we'll take a look at some of the best options for creating your website's design. And this is not a full post about it. So like just the context is a little bit off. And it doesn't mean you can't use some of the information. It just means you have to watch exactly what Jasper is doing because it goes off track pretty frequently. So you can get a few hundred words written fairly quickly, but you have to go back and edit it. So for me, the most efficient way is just to, to run through it and then go back and read it. Now, one thing that we see here, I said, write a paragraph about the website design from its own outline here. So create your website's design. So it says WordPress, Wix. So it gives you some ideas and they kind of leave us hanging. So it says, we'll look at some of the best options and then that's all they say. They don't really talk about website design at all. So potentially what I would need to do is fill in the gap. So maybe I can say write a paragraph about using WordPress for a niche website. So we're really trying to provide the context for Jasper. So I hit command enter again. So it tells us a little bit about WordPress here. So WordPress is a popular CMS that can be used for creating niche websites. It's easy to use and there's a number of plugins and themes that make it easy to customize. So it talks about being free. If you're looking for an affordable, easy to use website, then WordPress is good to consider. There are a number of themes and plugins. So this is essentially the same sentence just restated. So it wrote the same thing twice here. So this is not really usable here. So I'll go ahead and delete that. And maybe I'll say, write a paragraph about WordPress themes for niche websites. Command enter, it tells Jasper that this is a command. So now we're, we're moving forward with this. Got a few, even more than a paragraph, so, so nice touch here. So one of the best options for creating a WordPress theme is to use a pre-made theme. Uh, this is a theme that has already been designed and coded, making it easy for you to customize and match your needs. There are a number of great pre-made themes available and most are free to download. So this is a little redundant and Additionally, most themes are not necessarily free to download. So that doesn't quite make sense. And then here, one of the best options for creating a WordPress theme is to use a pre-made theme, which also doesn't make sense. You don't create a theme, you, you would use one uh, in this case. If you wanna create one, that's, that's different. So you can see we're kind of going off the rails a bit here. If you're looking for a more custom design, you can hire a web designer to create one for you. That's true. It can be expensive, but it gives you complete control. Okay, that is that is true. Uh, finally, if you don't want to spend any money at all, you can create your own WordPress theme using CSS and HTML. It's time consuming, but you'll have complete control. So we really don't want to have this. I don't really want to tell people to spend time to like create their own WordPress theme. It's recreating the wheel for no reason and like learning to code is a whole other situation. So as we're going through, I mean, at this point, we only have 729 words. So I, I would probably take this paragraph off and what we would need to do, this is actually turning into a much longer video than I intended. So I'm going to start to wrap it up here or at least pause for a second and come back and, and let you know. But overall, I mean, this is the thing with Jasper, you really have to go slowly and you have to make sure that Jasper is writing about what you want it to write about. And even if you say, 
use your own outline that you, Jasper, you created this outline, my friend. Why are you talking about things that are not relevant? It doesn't quite make sense to me. And technically, Jasper should know what is in this document several hundred words up. I can't remember how far it looks back, but Jasper should know the context of what's going on. So I'm going to pause again because I did promise at the beginning of this video that we're going to aim for 2000 words. So I'm going to pause and then I'm going to come back and let you know where we're at. So far, we're about, uh, I would say 12 minutes in. So the recording time is about 10, but we're about 12 minutes in. I wanted to check in with you really quick here. So we're at 1,250 words. We have a couple more paragraphs done. We talked about marketing your website and monetizing the website. One extra section I thought of putting in is to write a paragraph about how much you can earn with a niche website. So we'll we'll test this because this is something where you know Jasper will have to go and do some research or something like that and figure out like how much you can earn. So we'll see if there's any kind of specific information. So they talk about Amazon, they talk about selling advertising space and charging for premium content. So they talk about monetization ideas, but they don't talk about how much you can earn. So that would be something where Maybe I have to go and do some research on that and then fill it in specifically. So this is one of the problems with, I, I, I think it's all of the AI tools is you don't know if the facts are true or if they're just made up or if they are from other websites that are out of date, if they're from websites that didn't have any firsthand real knowledge and they just made up some number or they're referencing something that is untrue. So we don't know exactly if things are true in these articles without going and verifying. So we are at about 1,400 words right now. And one thing that I did as well is I started to put in uh, subheadings just so it's easier to see. Pretty straightforward to do that. So one thing I'll, I'll note is uh, you, you could just type it in and say, how much can you earn? And then there's all the formatting up here. So you can just make that an H2 tag. Again, this is all, all pretty rough. I haven't gone and edited it at all. Now, a couple things I see, you know, we're at 1400 words and the target that I mentioned was 2000. So we'll try to aim for 2000. And, and one thing that I see here is it just says, you know, choose a topic for your niche website. And we have just a couple you know, a couple sentences here. So I can expand here. Another place I see is around creating content for the site. So that'll make it much easier to get some words in here. So I'm going to pause again and come back again. I'm going to, I'm trying to make this video roughly a little, little concise, but it's, it's dragging on a little bit longer just because it, it takes a long time to use Jasper. If you're really having to hold its hand like this, I'll be right back. We are back. Okay, so we just hit 2,125 words. I think some of those words are actually counted um, from the initial outline. So I would say we're still over 2,000. So I did go through and I asked Jasper to write more specific things for different sections. So choosing a niche for your website. So remember, we just had a couple sentences before and I asked Jasper, to write how you could brainstorm and try to come up with different niches for your website. So it says, here are four tips for brainstorming a niche. And then it gave us four options here. So good. And as I, I went through, I thought, oh, you know, maybe there's a couple areas we could beef up. So in here, I saw the hosting and I thought, oh, it tells you a little bit about hosting, but I can get Jasper to tell us why you should look for certain qualities in a web host and what you should think about. Moving on for creating content, this is one of the areas where I thought, oh yeah, you can actually you know, uh, write, write content and that takes a little bit more time. So I asked for information about a content brief and then I asked about how to write content. So just a couple paragraphs on that. And actually, for some reason, it wrote you know three paragraphs about a content brief, which is longer than I expected, but only two paragraphs about how to write. 
which I think you know you can actually write more about writing than the content brief, but this is what, what we are left with here. So as we go through, I also asked about marketing your website, and they talked about e-zine articles, which is a very, you know, 2010 thing to do. I don't think we're really using e-zine articles anymore, but they referenced it a couple times. They also talk about Google+, Plus, which I don't even know if it still exists, but that is not really a thing to consider. And they do say Google Plus is one of the least popular of the three social media platforms. And the thing is, you know, there's nothing about, you know, Instagram or TikTok, for example. So, you know, clearly out of date, I think, you know, we probably can say, uh, write a paragraph about using Instagram for your niche site and we'll see what we come up with here it does i mean it, it's pretty quick it reacts quickly and it, it writes some stuff here um so it talks about instagram social media a little bit more and then again it says in this post we'll take a look on how to use instagram to promote your website so you know when I go back and edit it i would remove like in this post it seems to do that sort of transition uh, multiple times. I don't know why. Uh, again, here it says blah, blah, blah in this post. So as we scroll down, again, we have about 2,300 words. I tried to beef up certain sections and we don't have a conclusion yet. So maybe I'll say, write a <laughs> conclusion for this blog post. So who knows if it'll, you know, reference the whole article or just a couple paragraphs above so it says becoming an amazon affiliate is a great way to make money and this post will take a look at how to sign up for the program and make money from your website and this is an intro paragraph so i don't know what's going on okay so let's go big picture again like i started with the intro here i just wanted to show you what you would need to do with jasper to get about two thousand words i probably would need to spend another 30 minutes or so editing this and taking out stuff that is relevant, like the easing articles, uh, Google Plus, that doesn't make sense. There's a couple other things where it's just not what I want in this article. It doesn't mean that Jasper isn't useful to get you going. I think I probably could write this article on my own. I know the subject matter pretty well. I could probably write the article on my own faster than using Jasper. And we still have a you know a content issue what's actually in there i would need to edit that we haven't even gotten into the grammar issues again i use grammarly premium so i could fix up a lot of things like that we also haven't edited for redundant information there's a lot of repetition with this kind of a you know method to create the article where jasper doesn't know that it already said that thing so there's some issues with that and you know all in i think i've been i've been doing this for about 30 minutes or so and i think there's you know some some usefulness but in this specific area because i know a lot i could write it faster and there's a lot more editing that i need to do so from where i sit you know it's probably faster for me to write this but that does raise the question if you are not an expert in the subject matter can you trust tools not jasper specifically but can you trust the tools that they're actually providing good information in there i don't know i mean i think some of them are probably fine there's obviously plenty of articles about this topic area how to create a niche website so there's a lot of different information out there obviously some of the information is not what i agree with so you do have some discrepancy there Again, if you want to check out the other video where I use content at scale, you can check that in the description. I have several other videos on using Jasper as well, so I encourage you to check it out. If you like these kind of demos, let me know. Leave a comment if I made a mistake. Let me know if I've made a mistake, and I can hopefully fix it in the next video. Or if you have a request to see a certain kind of video, let me know. I have been playing with these tools and I'm trying to, to learn about them a little bit more. So my name is Doug Cunnington. You can sign up for the email list over at Niche Site Project. I share my templates and systems and other things like that. 
and thanks for watching this.